Really getting warmed up here, just moments away. We'll be back right after this. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. A chance now to check out how the All-Star voting is shaping up. And I tell you, the excitement starting to ratchet up a little bit as the tallies start coming in. You take a look at Jokic. He's received the fourth most votes in the West. If the All-Star game were today, he'd be starting. And that's the way it should be. As dynamic as he's been this season, it wouldn't be right if he wasn't a part of that starting lineup. And it's going to be an exciting showcase. We'll keep you updated with the results each day during the voting. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Chris Paul is still searching for his first title. He came close in Houston but was traded and by some was written off as over the hill. CP said, I control what I can. That's preparing to play every night. Doesn't matter how successful my season was or wasn't, I'm always going to strive and push myself. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. We got a lot of talent in the front court tonight between these two teams, Doris. That's where a lot of the focus for us will be. We will have an opportunity to see offense being run through the low post. So the interior defense is going to have to be strong. Will you send an extra defender? Where will that defender come from? There's a lot to play out here tonight, Kevin. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Rivers out there with Jamal Murray. And it's Porter at the small forward. And for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Ayton is out there with Jay Crowder. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. Now here's Murray. The pass to Rivers. Lock at six. And that one's good by Porter. Porter's got the first points on the scoreboard for the Nuggets. Just using his size well close to the rim. Porter is outstanding at cashing in from those spots. Passes it to Paul from past the arc. No good there. And the Nuggets going the other way. Last time they met was in Denver. Yeah, and they got beat last time these two teams met. And really, free throws were the story. Inside. Millsap misses. Oh, here we go now. Crowder's got it. The fast break chance. Bridges inside the three-point line. The quick look no good that time. And here's Denver. Millsap misses. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's his first foul. Well, it was the Nuggets their last game of loss to Los Angeles. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. You got to feel comfortable when Murray is working the pick and roll. His shooting, speed, and passing all are next level. The Suns have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And basketball in the blood for Devin Booker. I mean, his father, Melvin, started at the University of Missouri and played pro ball. Started in high school. Devin trained with his father, trying to follow his path. Boy, just one for four. A little brisky right now. And we know the story. Booker moving from Michigan to Mississippi to live with his father and develop his skills. And 4.30 a.m. alarms to train on the beach before the summer sun. Getting to practice two hours early and staying late. Booker, not a freak athlete, so he had to work harder and drill the fundamentals. Yeah. 
good on that one a nightly double double threat Jokic is also an exceptional playmaker for a guy that size and the second free throw good Phoenix has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Bridges passes to Crowder. He dishes it to Booker. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And now let's take a look at the number of second chance points these teams have had over the last month. These guys never give up on a possession. The Suns fifth. And they've really put an emphasis on offensive rebounding. And, guys, it's paying off. The second-chance points are coming in bunches. Murray, good. And the confidence from Murray, just so efficient from the interior. And it's Paul with the ball for the Suns. It's a five-point game. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Unloads from nine. And he overshot that one, missing. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. They get the rebound. Porter. Here's Jokic. Outside for Murray. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation and a chance to check out the numbers for Bridges. Putting up about 10 points a night, three assists, and two rebounds. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but, but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the offense. One night it's your night, another night perhaps it's somebody else's. Now here's Paul following the miss by Jamal Murray. Pass to Bridges. Now here's Ayton. A three ball. Bridges misses. It's Rivers on the wing. To the paint. Here's Jokic. Rebounded by DeAndre. Suns trail by five. Here's Crowder. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. You simply cannot sleep on Crowder in transition. He's a speedy forward who will run the floor for easy opportunities. Pass to Jokic. It's Rivers on the way. They get it again. And Jokic throws it down. Uh, such a savvy player. Love watching Jokic battle for positioning on the offensive glass. Suns have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. To the inside, Ayton. Good work defensively by Millsap. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Porter, no luck. Phoenix has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And Crowder with the basket on the assist by Booker. Well, that's the court awareness of Mr. Devin Booker. This guy increasingly becoming such a good passer. Murray against Paul. The pass to Millsap. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Aiton. The crafty veteran like seeing Millsap be aggressive and really force the defense to get physical. Emphasizing the importance of a deep bench. A few teams, Doris, across the league are riddled with injuries right now. And this is where your front office has to find a way to be successful year after year. And players over the course of a season maybe won't play for five, six, seven, eight games, and then an injury opens an opportunity, and you have to have a high level of professionalism at the end of the bench to endure these moments. Underrated coming into the league, 
and underestimated. Millsap doesn't have any doubters anymore. Kaminsky is checked in for the Suns. Both free throws good for Millsap. Suns trail by five. Paul looking over the floor. Booker against Rivers. Nice move. He stepped back and cast it up. What tremendous instincts as a scorer for Devin Booker. Get in that mid-range game, sir. Millsap up top. Back to Murray. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. The Suns have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Now here's Booker. What a tremendous game he played against Houston. Oh, and here comes Rivers all alone. And then Rivers with the dunk. Austin Rivers opportunistic in transition. That's what happens when you sprint the floor. Sun shouldn't just about an even 40% to start. Booker up top. He's guarded by Rivers. And Booker kicks to Paul. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Shot by Crowder, no good. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. On the wing, Porter. Here's Millsap. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And the play succeeds because Millsap comes to the court hungry. He chases down boards and second chance opportunities. Now here's Kaminsky. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the wide open shot from Crowder. A three-pointer, no good. The Nuggets leading by nine. Teardrop shot. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range. He's one for five. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end. And that is why his number gets called time and time again. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Some changes for Phoenix. Sharch is checked in for Crowder. Johnson comes in for Bridges. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Paul. Big group substitution here for Denver. JaVale McGee's checked in for Millsap. Aaron Gordon comes in for Michael Porter. Will Barton, he's checked in for Rivers. And Morris subbed in for Jamal Murray. Jokic with the bucket. Sometimes he seems to be indestructible with the finishes he can make. Jokic is a force down low. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Booker with it, and it's Gordon picking him up. Booker draws the double, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Denver with the ball. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. They have a nine-point lead. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Here's Gordon. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. And it's sent back by Jokic. And check out Jokic using not just his length, but also the timing. The offensive player better think twice next time. Phoenix has gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Kaminsky. That shot off the mark. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Gordon with it. Now defended by Jokic. Back to Gordon. And it's Gordon with the finish. Wow, the tenacity of Aaron Gordon. The athleticism is just amazing. Here's Galloway. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. 
passes it to Booker. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Outstanding pass on time and on target. The Nuggets leading by nine. Man, such an easy release for Devin Booker. Doesn't have to elevate that much to get that shot off. And what that means, Greg, is that smooth stroke translates into the three-point shootout. Booker with the all-time record, 28 points in a round. That leads to a victory in 2018 in that contest. That was special. Gordon's gone two for four so far here tonight. And here's Booker. He has six. Three-pointer. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Morris outside. On the wing, Gordon. Back to Morris. Here's Jokic. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jokic has got seven points. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Now here's Shorich. Eight points his last outing. Kicks it to Booker. Six to shoot from deep. Johnson, good. A nice assist from Booker. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Morris. No points in the game yet for him. Outside Gordon. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. Already they piled up eight second chance points. Suns trail by 12. Now Booker. Well, you know that he's going to find a way to get the ball in the basket no matter what D he's faced with. He averages about 31 and a half points a game. Now here is Morris. Devin Booker missing his last shot. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Denver shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Smith checked in for Kaminsky. And Denver with a change here, too. Dozier's checked in. Free throw good from Morris. Well, the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well. To when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good point. This is his first free throw of the game. And the first one drops. And they've clearly been the aggressors here early on, drawing fouls and working themselves to the line. All three throws good from Barton. Suns trail by 17. Here's Galloway. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Smith, and it's slammed in by Smith. You know, the easy one there. You know, Galloway able to read the defense, finding his man for the great setup. Pretty. Morris kicks to McGee. Back to Morris. Barton outside. And that one is off. 
Good D by Booker. And the foul on Will Barton. That's his first foul. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. And here's Sharich. He'll bring it up for the Sun. Down by 15. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, Torrid shooting in that one. Some of it was good play calling. Some of it was just making tough shots. Well, give credit to a couple of their guys for their complete locked-in nature. They were just focused, and they made everything they looked at. Shooting two. That free throw missing. Well, I think we know that Devin Booker is known for his shooting, but to me, guys, there's also the passing and the rebounding aspect that comes into play with him. He hits the second from the line. Denver leading by 14. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks, and that one, good. Morris has got his second basket of the night. They are just killing him on the interior. Booker with it. He has seven. There's 18 seconds left to play in the first. Shot clock at six. To the left wing. Here's Galloway. And so it's the Denver Nuggets in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be back with you shortly. Well, recently, Chris Paul talked about adding some levity to the game. It sounds so generic to say we have fun, but, like, we may lose a game here or there, but, you know, everybody's still, you know, happy for each other. You know, we're just trying to build. Yeah, from what we've uh, seen, Greg, these guys naturally get along. And you add in the guiding hand of Chris Paul. Uh, this team can beat anyone on any night because they're so connected. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Nuggets, this has been the game they wanted to have. Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. Booker and Johnson fill out the wings. Smith is out there with Ayton. And it's Galloway in at the five. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Gordon. 20 points for him last game against the Lakers. And the rejection by Smith. A different look for Denver. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Barton. And it's Jamal Murray in for Morris. Suns trail by 14. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Pass to Johnson. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Here's Ayton, drilled from 11 feet out. This guy has got a dominant physical frame, incredible athleticism. Nice job by DeAndre Ayton inside. Murray, the pass to McGee. Back to Murray. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Murray's got eight points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Smith following the score by Jamal Murray. Booker finds Galloway. Smith with it. He's guarded by Rivers. It's good. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The Nuggets leading by 12. 
Pass to Gordon. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. And that one drops. Well, sheer strength on these finishes. Aaron Gordon pushes through anything you might throw at him. Here's Galloway. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The pass to Smith. That's good. And so Galloway with the assist. Galloway has got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Now here's Murray. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And his court vision was extraordinary, too. Let's not forget that. He was flawless passing the ball. And it's Galloway with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Sun. A 12-point game. And Aiton throws it down. What a fantastic offensive rebounder. Aiton so good at using his physical advantages. And so here's Denver following the score by Phoenix. Rivers kicks to Murray. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. For Phoenix, they've gone five of seven from the field here in the second. Boy, that was a momentum killer to start last season, wasn't it, Greg? 25-game suspension for DeAndre Ayton. And he sprained his ankle in his return game. The, the Suns at full strength, able to win some games. He's obviously a huge part of their future. Here's Murray. The Suns getting the bucket. Passes it to Rivers. Out to the right wing. Murray outside. Just five to shoot. And Rivers gets it to go in on the assist by Murray. Well, tremendous composure on the interior from the guard, Austin Rivers. He's got the frame to complete that play. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin, and, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the era I played in, but, you know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement, and I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental, and I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. And here is Murray after the three-pointer from Jay Crowder. Pass to Rivers. Back to Murray. Rivers in the corner. Shoots over Bridges. Rivers can't get it to go. Suns trail by nine. Here's Crowder, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. What you love about Crowder, he gives you a little bit of everything at both ends. I mean, defensively, he'll take on anybody. He's smart, draws a lot of charges. Offensively, he can stretch the floor, and he'll make the extra pass. He's also an opportunistic rebounder. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. I just have so much respect for how Jay Crowder plays the game. This guy works so hard for every single minute he's out there, and you love seeing that. And both free throws good from Crowder. The Nuggets leading by seven. Now here's Rivers. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Murray surveying the D. And the rejection by Smith. Right at the free throw line. And the shot is long. For Denver, they've gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Gordon against Paul. Tries from seven. In deep, Gordon drops it in. 
Gordon's got four points this quarter. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Phoenix with the ball. They trail by nine points. Rivers against Bridges. Paul fires from way outside. They get it back. And it's Smith missing. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. And with Murray, you have an all-around scorer, someone who feels comfortable shooting from just about any spot on the court. Phoenix has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Smith kicks to Paul. Looking for Bridges. He gets it there. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Outside Millsap. Six on the shot clock. Porter dishes to Millsap. Here's Rivers. No good with the triple. Suns trail by nine. Bridges, no one around him. Here's Smith. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. For Phoenix, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. The Suns making a switch here. Kaminsky's checked in. Jokic has checked in for the Nuggets. Smith hits them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Rivers passes to Murray. Inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And to look at his percentage from the line, you see him at 89%. That's an indicator of what a consistent stroke he has. And he makes the first. Charge checked in for Phoenix. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for Phoenix. Nine point game. And the layup falls. Well, you think because of his frame, it would be easy to knock Chris Paul off balance, but this guy has concentration and tenacity. Really good job keeping his focus. Now here's Murray. 12 points for him. And another miss by Denver. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Wide open look. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And now it's only a five-point nugget lead. Murray with it. Now guarded by Crowder. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crowder. Now a look at the stats for DeAndre Ayton. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. Now here's Millsap. Six points for him. Pass to Murray. Down to five on the shot clock. Well, Nuggets need to get a shot off here. 
I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter, he has been completely bothered. Martin's checked in for the Nuggets. Morris comes in for Jamal Murray. The Nuggets leading by five. Morris looking over the floor. And here's Jokic. 35 points for him last game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Near the three-point line, it's Millsap. Bridges with the board. Phoenix has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Jokic with the steal. And Porter, here we go. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Porter's got his second basket of the night. And he's got a great balance of, of knowing when to slash inside. Porter needs to keep being this aggressive on the drive. Now here's Paul. 23 points for him the last game against Houston. Here's Kaminsky. The shot's good. Kaminsky's got his first basket. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. Now Morris. He has five. Outside Porter. And the pass to Jokic. Over Kaminsky. And Jokic gets it to go. The assist by Porter. Jokic has got nine. And not just a score, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. Suns trail by seven. Paul passes to Crowder. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And that one's good, Barton. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Paul with the ball. They count on his contributions, currently providing 16 and a half points a game. Outside Crowder. Off target from outside. The Nuggets leading by nine. Morris finds Jokic. Barton outside. Here's Jokic. He's got nine. Pass to Porter. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Chris Paul picks up that one. And the athleticism and size of Porter creates problems for the defense. Hard to guard without getting physical. throw good Porter and the ceiling so high for Porter a, a versatile effective forward who does so many things well here's what Phoenix has got going on right now Booker comes in for Mikael Bridges and Langston Galloway subbed in for Chris Paul and Porter drops them both and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter Suns trail by 11 guys are looking for a spark here yeah a cold stretch offensively for sure Morris against Booker. From down in the low post, it goes. Booker's got 11. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Denver leading by nine. Morris passes to Jokic. To the middle. Here's Doe. Oh. I mean, shades of Vladi Divac there. Jokic is one of the best passing bigs playing in the game today. Anzo Galloway with it. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. The dish to Booker. 
106 left in the first half. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Now, here's Jokic. He's guarded by Kaminsky. Morris passes to Jokic. Five on the clock. And it's off from three-point range. And up the court come the Suns on the break. Crowder with the ball. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Pass to McGee. Back to Morris. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Suns trail by 11. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Booker inside. Martin defending. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. To the paint. Here's your Oh, my oh, goodness! Wow. What a play! And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 15 rebounds. Here's Kaminsky, and finished off by Kaminsky. Oh, up high and down hard <laughs> with that one-hander. He got a little extra forceful. You're right with that one. The quick hitter from three-point range off the inbound play. They ran that set perfectly. And so it's Denver with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over-dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Jamal Murray has been the story in this one. He had 12 points and two assists. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half. They're going right to the rim, finishing every chance they get. The D was helpless trying to stop them and beating them inside. I love the relentlessness and the aggressive style. This is how you impose your will on another team. Shaq, what'd you think about Phoenix? Sloppy ball, way too many wasted possessions, chucking up threes, missing them. I could hit more threes than that, Ernie. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside because that's what it's going to take. If they were hitting more threes, that'd be a different story. But if if was a fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You gotta like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the Nuggets, Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Murray out there with Austin Rivers, and it's Porter at the three spot. And at six foot ten, Porter is a threat to score inside, which is why the defense trying to rough him up a bit. This is his second trip to the free throw line. This season, 88% on the line, so he has been in a comfort zone. Good. 
shooting two. First one falls for him. Drops them both. Suns trail by 16. Pass to Bridges. Booker against Rivers. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got 15 points. There are few people in the league that are more scary when they start to find their rhythm than Devin Booker, and he's cooking right now. Now here's Murray. And there's the pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Good on the shot. Eight points for him. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. <laughs> and if you're drawing up your starting five for team irrational confidence, Jamal Murray makes a strong case. This guy is fearless. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect him to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And Murray, we know, can be streaky, Greg. Still mid-30% for his career from three-point range. Of course, the degree of difficulty, pretty high on a lot of his shots. Off the bounce with a hand in his face. And he's more than a shooter, a versatile scorer who can get it done in a variety of ways. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shoot two. A free throw drops for Rivers. Well, January 15th of 2015 provided a special moment in NBA history. Austin Rivers made his debut for the Clippers guys, who were coached, of course, by Doc Rivers. That was the first time in history a father coached his son in an NBA game. What a special, special time. Here is Paul. He kicks to Booker. Over to the wing. Paul against Murray. Lock at six. Booker in the post. That's one for their first four to start the second half. And pushing it up, here's Denver. Millsap misses. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. And the shot goes down. Well, you can't hesitate if you want to succeed in catch-and-shoot situations. Chris Paul, such a quick thinker. Now here's Murray. 12 points for him. Takes a three. Rebound by the Suns. Knocks it loose. And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Phoenix. They trail by 16. Booker outside. Good, and Paul gets the assist. And that's 18 points for Devin Booker. Puts one in the eye of the defense. First triple of the evening. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Back to Rivers. Crowder with the steal. Here's Bridges. No good that time. Ice D from Porter. The Nuggets leading by 13. Here's Millsap. Crowder pulls it in. Crowder's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Johnson, he's checked in for Bridges. And Denver with a change here, too. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Michael Porter. 
for Phoenix. They've gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. We'll take a look at the Nuggets. Here in the middle of the regular season, they've been able to get the fourth best record in the conference. And checking out Phoenix. Not really any threat right now as their record showing a lot more losses. And I think for Denver, they've stayed right there, just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Yeah, even so, though, I'm sure they're not satisfied just being near the top of the standings. They're going to be looking to make a major push as the season winds down. And one area where they have it struggled has been transition. Yeah, they've had less success when they allow the defense to get set. That's why they want to keep pushing the pace. And the call up against Jokic. That is his first foul of the game. The Suns making a switch here. Smith has checked in. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Rivers against Booker. Trying his luck from deep. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. Denver calls timeout. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire, but that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of them. Yes. And that one is good. 13 points for Jokic. Boy, don't you love to see Aaron Gordon make these kinds of decisions. This guy is fully capable of recognizing open teammates. Suns trail by 11. A shot by Paul. Nobody around. Picks it out to Booker. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Smith for three. That shot missing. And the Nuggets going the other way. They led by as many as 18 points. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. They start a three-game homestand with that game. Well, the coaching staff loves seeing this kind of playmaking from Austin Rivers, the willingness to share the basketball. And here is Paul. Passes it to Ayton. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That is his first foul of the game. Off the inbound, it's hauled in by Gordon. Denver leading by 13, and here we go. Fast break, Murray's got it, and the rejection by Smith. Jokic kicks to Gordon. Off target with his three. Phoenix has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Back to Paul. Smith scanning the floor. Paul dishes to Smith. And Ayton throws it down. Well, Mr. Ayton decides, why just lay it up when you can finish with authority? Here's Gordon. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. Gordon's got ten. The defense just too soft on that possession. You have to be closer and contest at the rim. Out left to the wing. Ayton, the pass to Booker. And he banks in the layup. Booker's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, DeAndre Ayton is a team first guy, and boy, does he set up the open man. Outside Gordon. Jokic against Ayton. Here's Gordon. That shot off. Johnson with the defensive effort. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Suns. 11 point game. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three pointers just continue to flow. Now, here's Millsap. He's got eight. Pass to Jokic. 
Booker against Rivers. Down low. Here's Gordon. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. 12 points for him. Well, you have to admire the strength of Aaron Gordon. This guy is adept at finding his way through intense defense. Phoenix has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And Booker kicks to Paul. Over Murray. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Sharch has checked in for the Suns. Langston Galloway comes in for Paul. Denver leading by eight. Now Morris. He has seven. Outside Gordon. Nails the baby hook. Gordon's got six here in this quarter. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Booker against Barton. Kicks it out to Johnson. Sharich passes to Galloway. Six to shoot. Back to Sharich. There's the triple. Denver grabs the miss. McGee's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Dario Sarge, the homie, as he was known in Philly, a Croatian finesse forward for this team. You know what I love about Dario is here's a big man who can space the floor with his shooting. He can balance that with an ability to make plays off the dribble. He's a really sneaky cutter and a very opportunistic rebounder. I mean, this is a big man who will contribute in a lot of different areas. And I'll tell you, when DeAndre Ayton is looking to score, he is a handful forces the defense into a compromising situation. You know, you think back to DeAndre Ayton's college career, he demonstrated three-point range, and while he's eager to show that in the NBA, the Suns want him to attack the rim. Free throw drops for Aiton. And Monty Williams said offensively, Aiton's got to be 80% beast, 20% shooter. The reason they say that, Greg, is they want him to exploit the elite physical tools he brings to the game. If he can draw more fouls, he can get to the free throw line. And he's such a good shooter there, it only makes sense. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, the number one pick in the 2018 NBA draft, DeAndre Ayton, is going to be a feared big man for years to come. McGee with it. Now guarded by Booker. Pass to Barton. Back to McGee. Morris outside. And good that time. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up gotta fight over it as a defender you know exactly what that takes it takes energy it takes activity it takes intensity now here's Shorich. he's been quiet so far still no points in the game boy a wide open shot from his favorite spot that is one he'd like to have back dozier can't get it to go for phoenix they have been coming through at the charity strip they've made seven of their eight attempts And that one falls from Sharich. What we know about Dario Sharich is that he entered the league as a high IQ player, fundamentally sound, and his skill set as a stretch four is absolutely in high demand in the league. Kaminsky is checked in for eight. Sharich nails them both. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show 
at the free throw line. Morris outside. Now the pass to Gordon. Barton outside. Back to Gordon. Over Scharch. And Gordon gets it to go in on the assist by Barton. Barton's got three assists in the game. Here's Galloway. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Booker outside. Goes up on the high post. He squares up and sinks it. Booker's got nine points now in just the second half. Sharpshooter from anywhere on the floor. Booker's release and form, it's so mechanically sound. And McGee kicks to Dozier. Passes it to Barton. Shot clock at five. Phoenix grabs the miss as their comeback bid had better get started. I don't know, guys. It's going to take a pretty big run to get back in this one. And he comes up with the deuce. Denver's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Morris outside. Pass to Barton. Lots of room. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Nine points for Will Barton. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Phoenix is going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Pass to Scharch. And he lays it straight in. Scharch has got four points now in the quarter. Well, because of his size and length, Dario Scharch so comfortable on the interior. Morris outside. Dishes to Barton. Back to Morris. Shot clock at six. Off target from three-point range. Suns trail by eight. Johnson a wide open look. From outside off the mark. And so it's Barton bringing it up for the Nuggets. They led by as many as 18 points. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for Phoenix. On Tuesday, they'll be playing against Draymond Green and the Golden State Warriors. Then on Wednesday, they'll be facing Hassan Whiteside and the Sacramento King. And that game against Portland. They'll need to be at their best for this contest. Anything short of excellence, and they'll be in for a rough ride. The first free throw is good. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. So for the Suns, Crowder comes in for Johnson, and Mikael Bridges subbed in for Langston Galloway. And Denver also making a switch. Porter's checked in. Both good from the line that time. Suns trail by 10. Booker outside. The pass to Crowder. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Passes to Bridges. Six to shoot. Kicks to Kaminsky. There's the three. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got six rebounds in the game. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. And just tax a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Now here's Booker. He's covered closely. Pass to Kaminsky. Back to Booker. It could go. And so it's Aaron Gordon making things happen for the Denver Nuggets. Willing his team to a successful quarter performance. He seemed to stop at nothing to push the momentum. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision-making at every position. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Evan Booker out there with Bridges. Then it's Dario Saric. Then it's Jay Crowder. And it's Kaminsky in at the five down low. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Gordon, the pass to Murray. The three. Can't hit that one. Good D by Booker. Charge inside. Guarded by Porter. Good. Charge has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Suns. Boy, what determination from Dario Saric. So good at being aggressive around the rim. Murray dishes to McGee. Murray against Booker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Devin Booker. throw good Murray and Murray has it all a deadly shooter and a remarkable penetrator terrific guard play Chris Paul he's checked in for the Suns the Nuggets also changing it up Jokic has checked in for JaVale McGee Millsap comes in for Gordon and it's Austin Rivers in for Will Barton And so Murray nails both of them. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. In the corner, Crowder with it. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his third assist on the night. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Now, here's Jokic. Basket, good. And the Nuggets lead by 11. And with long arms and great strength, Millsap can make plays bigger than his actual size. Here's Paul. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. And he drops it in from the low post. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Booker against Rivers. Pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikel Bridges. That'll be his second foul of the game. Smith checked in for Frank Kaminsky. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Jokic kicks to Porter. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Bridges shot. Good. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Now here's Murray. Rivers with it. Five to shoot. He kicks to Murray. And taken away by Paul. They break it out. Five on three. Or three. Bridges. Offensive rebound. Here's Smith. And it's sent back by Jokic. Well, you can see the confidence that Mikel Bridges has in himself. This guy's going to take pride in going up strong, forcing the issue, and getting himself to the foul line. 
And Doris Mikkel Bridges, how about two national titles in the three seasons at Villanova? Got better each and every year. And think about in his junior season, he becomes one of only eight major conference players in college basketball history to average one block and one and a half steals while also shooting over 40% from three point range. Boy, that is the perfect resume for a three and D wing. And that one falls for Bridges. After winning two championships in college at Villanova before turning pro, I think Mikel Bridges has the next championship in his sights. That's an NBA title. And the Suns making a change here. Aiton's checked in. And he makes both free throws. The Nuggets leading by five. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. That's tipped. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Ball's running over Murray. And that one goes long. For Denver, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The free throw drops for Rivers. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Suns. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Ayton, the pass to Booker. Count the basket. Booker's got 11 in the second half. Oh, great ball movement there. Denver's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Booker against Rivers. Murray outside. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Murray's got four this quarter. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Suns trail by six. Paul right side. And there's the pass to Crowder. Ayton trying to break free. Shot by Crowder, no good. For Denver, they've gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Rivers can't get it to go. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Night after night, game after game, Chris Paul understands where to put the ball and when. Nicely done. Now here's Rivers. He hits Jokic top of the key. Murray outside. Jokic draws the double. And stolen by Booker. Phoenix, another fast break opportunity here. And the dunk by Booker. Well, you can see this guy is improving as a two-way threat. Devin Booker active on the defensive end and finishes nice. Now here's Murray. Passes it to Jokic. Denver passing it around. Four on the clock. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And this is where Jokic is most comfortable. The closer he is to the rim, the more effective he becomes. Pass to Booker. Now here's Aiton. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. And the Suns making a change here. Johnson's checked in. The Nuggets leading by four. And here's Rivers. Pass to Murray. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Chris Paul picks up that one. And Murray is so skilled at drawing these types of fouls. He loves getting to the charity spot. And he knocks down the first one. Oh. 
And so he makes both from the line. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Booker against Rivers. In the corner, Crowder with it. Offensive rebound. Ayton dishes to Crowder. Count that bucket. Crowder's got nine points now in just the second half. You've got to be careful if you give Crowder a little bit of comfort because the guy starts to make a couple and then he's really dangerous. Now here's Rivers. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Free throw drops for Rivers. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Phoenix Suns. They trail by six. The pass to Booker. Shoots from the high post. Millsap grabs the miss. Millsap's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Jokic, and Jokic throws it down. Yeah, Jokic seems determined to have a big night. So far, he's been successful. The Suns have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. Paul kicks to Booker. Pass to Ayton. Murray against Paul. Outside Crowder. Crowder with another miss. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Rivers finds Jokic. Murray outside. Up again, Jokic on the follow. Jokic has got six in the quarter. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Now here's Booker. Takes the three. And it's Denver with the rebound. Jokic is here's the Nuggets with the ball. Big stretch here going 10 2. Millsap. The second effort tries again, and Jokic lays it up and in. Jokic has got 10 points here in the second half. In such a rhythm right now. Feathery touch. He's lighting them up. Pass to Booker. Jokic with the steal. Porter in the corner for three. The rebound by Johnson. Suns trail by 12. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Paul for three. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. Johnson's got four assists now tonight. For Denver, they've gone six or 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Here's Millsap. The second chance effort. They grab their own miss. Pass to Jokic. They shoot again. And at last, they get one to fall. Jokic has got 23. Phoenix has gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. And the Suns call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. 
Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, here's what Monty Williams went over with his team during the timeout. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. See if that pep talk got him going, guys. The open shot by Paul. Denver leading by 11. To the inside, Jokic comes up empty down low. Well, Phoenix shooting uh, about 47% here in the fourth. Johnson can't get it to go. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break, and he blows it. It was right there for him. He'd love to have that one back. That was embarrassing. Now here's Porter. Here's Rivers. And again, Denver no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing far. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Porter. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And the Nuggets lead by 13. Here's Booker. 153 left in the fourth. Left side, the baseline J. It doesn't go for him. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. They led by as many as 18 points. Inside, and it's Murray that time on the assist by Rivers. Rivers has got five assists tonight. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Rivers passes to Murray. Back to Rivers. Count that one. Rivers has got five points in the quarter. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Denver. They never settled for mediocre shots. And, Kevin, they had great penetration this time out. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And they put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a 2-1 to edge with only one left to play. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Jokic. Boy, this guy played with some swagger and intensity on the boards tonight, dominating the physical aspect of the game. Five on the clock from deep. Some solid defense from Aiton. Booker with it. Picked up by Rivers. Call for three. Picks it out to Johnson. They get it back. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Porter. Nineteen seconds left in the game. Aiton inside. McGee's there. Barton surveying the floor. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Nicola, you asserted impact from the opening tip tonight. What was the key out there? 
I mean, uh, it's not just me, it's of, of course my teammates. I think we opened the game really good in the first quarter and we just continued to play aggressive and that's how we won the game. Well, man, I appreciate your time and congrats on this win. Enjoy it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.